Hi guys and welcome to my channel O oh, Wants Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how I like to cut up a butternut squash. We're going to start by cutting both ends off to give us a nice flat surface for the squash to sit on once we cut it into three pieces. Sometimes I'll cut it into two pieces. This one I'm cutting into three just because it has a little bit of an odd shape and it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to peel. Use your knife and just peel it just like that. I love butternut squash. I think it's one of my favorite vegetables. It's so versatile. You can add it to risotto, you can make soup with it, you can roast it, you can add it to salads. Very, very versatile. And bonus, if you don't peel it, it could stay in your cupboard for a few weeks to a month. So I always have a few butternut squashes on hand. I just keep them in a cool, dry space and they will last no problem. The top piece was the easiest one to peel. This bottom, this middle piece has a little bit of a curve to it. So it's a little bit harder. This piece also has a little bit of seeds in it. I'm going to grab a spoon and show you how to scoop the seeds out. There we go. Just pretend like you're scooping a really hard scoop of ice cream. Just glide the spoon right along the inside of the butternut squash and it'll come out just like that. This part is a little bit harder just because you need to get enough room to get the spoon in, but it's the same concept. You're scraping the side of the inside of the butternut squash with the spoon and the seeds and the little strings will come right out. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video thumbs up and leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. When I'm taking the skin off the bottom piece, I like to put it wide side down and the narrow side up just because it's a little bit easier that way for me to get the knife around the curve of the butternut squash. And while I was doing this, it occurred to me that you can also stuff butternut squash. I don't think I've ever tried a stuffed butternut squash recipe, but why not? I'm gonna have to come up with something. Look at how beautiful it is. And here you go. You have three nice pieces of clean butternut squash ready to use for whatever recipe you need. It, I'm going to dice it because I'm going to roast it in a different video. Please stay tuned for that. And I will show you how I do that. I start with the top piece just because it's the easiest. I'm gonna cut, cut it into slabs and then into sticks and dice it. Just like that. The middle piece is going to be cut the same way. The bottom piece is going to be a little bit different but because it's hollow in the middle. Um, I will show you how to do that. If you have a favorite butternut squash recipe, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. So now for this middle piece, uh, for the bottom piece, sorry, I'm going to cut it in half and then slice it into strips and dice, just like that. And here you have it, our beautiful diced butternut squash. Thanks for watching. See you next time.